Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have discussed acid-base disorders. This acid-base disorders are diagnosed with one special investigation, which is called as a ABG, and it is done from the arterial blood. In today's video, we will discuss ABG and how to do the interpretation of ABG report for the diagnosis of acid-base disorders, along with the discussion of various case studies based on the interpretation of ABG report. So arterial blood gas analysis or ABG analysis is a common investigation done in the emergency departments as well as in the intensive care units for the monitoring of patients with acute respiratory failure. And unlike all other common blood investigation which are done from the venous blood, this ABG is done from the arterial blood. An arterial blood gas result can help in the assessment of patient's gas exchange, ventilatory control, and for the assessment of acid-base balance. This is the picture showing the common sites for the collection of ABG sample in the upper limb as well as in the lower limb. So the common sites for the collection of ABG sample in the upper limbs are brachial artery, radial artery, and ulnar artery, while the common sites for the collection of ABG sample in the lower limb are common femoral artery and deep femoral artery. And you have to collect this ABG sample in one specialized syringe which is called as a heparinized syringe. This is the picture showing the ABG machine on which you can do the ABG report. This is the common machine available in the clinical laboratory and this is the ABG POCT device. POCT means point of care testing device. With the help of this ABG POCT device, you can do ABG report on the bedside of patients. And this is the picture showing how ABG reports look like. It gives the value of pH, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, PO2, bicarbonate and saturation of O2 in the percentage. And if the machine is high end, it also gives the value of electrolytes that is sodium, potassium and chloride. Now we will see the normal range of various parameters in the arterial blood. So this is the table showing the normal range of various parameters in the arterial blood as well as, well as in the venous blood. You have to remember all this value by heart because it will help you in the interpretation of ABG report as well as for the solution of various case studies based on the ABG report. So the normal value of pH in the arterial blood is 7.35 to 7.45. Normal value of PO2 in the arterial blood is 80 to 100 mmHg. Normal value of percentage of O2 saturation in the arterial blood is 95 percentage. Normal value of partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the arterial blood is 35 to 45 mmHg. While the normal value of bicarbonate in the arterial blood is 20 to 26 milliequivalent per liter and the normal value of base excess in the arterial blood is minus 2 to plus 2. Now, how to interpret the ABG report? So, there are three steps for the interpretation of ABG report. First step is, first look at the pH. The normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. So, if the pH is less than 7.35, that means it is a acidosis. And if the pH is greater than 7.45, that means it is alkalosis. So the step two is you have to identify the cause for the alteration of this pH. So identify whether it is metabolic cause or respiratory cause. So for the identification of metabolic cause, look at the bicarbonate value. And the normal bicarbonate value is 22 to 26 milliequivalent per liter. So if the bicarbonate value is less than 22 milliequivalent per liter, then it is metabolic acidosis. And if the bicarbonate value is greater than 26 milliequivalent per liter, then it is metabolic alkalosis. And for the identification of respiratory cause, look at the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Normal value of partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 35 to 45 mmHg. So if the PCO2 value is less than 35 mmHg, then it is a case of respiratory alkalosis and if the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is greater than 45 mmHg then it is case of respiratory acidosis. So that is step 2 for the interpretation of ABG report. Now step 3 is regarding for the identification of compensatory mechanism. So 
if there is a metabolic acidosis then the compensation will be done by decreased partial pressure of carbon dioxide by hyperventilation and if it is metabolic alkalosis then compensation will be done by increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide by hypoventilation and remember in the metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis compensation will be done by respiratory mechanism if it is a case of respiratory acidosis then compensation will be done by increased renal bicarbonate reabsorption while in the respiratory alkalosis compensation will be done by decreased renal bicarbonate reabsorption so remember in the respiratory acidosis and respiratory alkalosis compensation will be done by renal mechanism so this is all about how you can do the interpretation of abg report this is the picture showing the mnemonic by this mnemonic you can easily remember the acid base disorders and the mnemonic is rom in the rom r stands for respiratory o stands for opposite and m stands for metabolic and e stands for equal that means in the respiratory alkalosis as well as in the respiratory acidosis the ph and partial pressure of carbon dioxide both will go in the opposite direction say for example in the respiratory alkalosis ph will be increased so the partial pressure of carbon dioxide will be reduced while in the metabolic alkalosis and metabolic acidosis ph and bicarbonate value both will go in the same same direction say for example in metabolic acidosis ph will reduce so the bicarbonate value will also be reduced so this is how you can remember the acid base disorder with the help of one mnemonic that is rom now we will see the various case studies the first case study is a 60 year old man was brought to the hospital in semi conscious state the patient displayed typical hyperventilatory breathing pattern with sweetish odor in his breath the pulse was feeble and the bp was low results of lab reports are as follows so from the lab reports we can say that ph is 7.1 so ph is reduced so it is a case of acidosis plasma bicarbonate is 11 ml equivalent per liter so which is also reduced so ph and bicarbonate both are going in the same direction and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 38 which is normal so it is a case of metabolic acidosis now look at the some additional hint which is given in the case that is rbs is 550 mg per dl so it is a case of hyperglycemia as well as benedict test and rothras test in the urine were positive so that means there is a excretion of sugar as well as ketone bodies in the urine and patient also showed typical hyperventilatory breathing pattern with sweetish odor so this is the kusmus respiration and the sweetish odor is due to the acetone smell so it is a case of metabolic acidosis and specifically you can write down that it is a case of diabetic ketoacidosis which is the example of metabolic acidosis and which is compensated by hyperventilation so it is a case of metabolic acidosis case study 2 is a 50 year old man admitted to the hospital with the complaint of persistent vomiting on examination he was dehydrated his respiration was shallow he gave past history of dyspepsia and the results of laboratory reports are as follows so from the reports we can say that ph is 7.7 so it is increased so it is a case of alkalosis bicarbonate value is 45 which is also increased and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 60 which is also increased so ph and bicarbonate value both are going in the same direction so it is a case of metabolic alkalosis which is compensated by hypoventilation and this hypoventilation will lead to increase in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide so it is a case of metabolic alkalosis compensated by hypoventilation which leads to the retention of carbon dioxide and it will increase in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide interpret the following abg parameters and mention the compensatory mechanism so the abg parameters are ph is 7.38 so it is the normal normal ph is 7.35 to 7.45 bicarbonate value is 16 ml equivalent per liter so bicarbonate value is low normal value is 22 to 26 ml equivalent per liter so bicarbonate value is low partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 24 which is also reduced and the o2 saturation is 98% now 
from the pH, it is a normal pH, but we can say that it is more toward the acidic pH. So, we can say that bicarbonate and pH value both are in the same direction. So, it is a case of metabolic acidosis which is compensated by hyperventilation which leads to reduction in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. And as pH is normal, so it is a fully compensated metabolic acidosis. It is a case of fully compensated metabolic acidosis. Second uh, case is pH is 7.1, so pH is reduced, so it is an acidosis. Bicarbonate is 24 milli equivalent per liter, so bicarbonate value is normal. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 75, so it is increased. So pH is reduced and partial pressure of carbon dioxide is increased, so it is a case of respiratory acidosis which is uncompensated one because bicarbonate values are normal over here. In the respiratory acidosis, compensation is done by increased renal absorption of bicarbonates. But over here, bicarbonate values are normal. So, it is an uncompensated respiratory acidosis. And the last case is pH is 7.5. So, it is an increased. So, it is an alkalosis. Bicarbonate value is 18 milli equivalent per liter. So, bicarbonate value is low. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 28 mmHg, which is also low. So, pH is 7.5, so it is an alkalosis and partial pressure of carbon dioxide is low. So, it is a case of respiratory alkalosis. But, respiratory alkalosis, but bicarbonate value is low. So, it is a partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. As it is because it is a partially compens compensated because pH value is not normal. If the pH value was normal, then it was fully compensated respiratory alkalosis. Remember, bicarbonate values are low over here, so it is a, a compensated one. Fine, so it is a partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it.